everything you've asked about. Yeah, I mean, it was good that we were able to. Again, we had the game in hand. Really, you don't ever even think of things like that because you're, you're not in a lot of situations uh, to, to do that type of thing. But, you know, once we had the game in hand, then it allowed us to, uh, to take our starter out and allow our backup guy to go in. So that's, that's really what it came down to. He seemed pretty excited. Going on. He's a great kid. I mean, he's, uh, he's worked on snapping. He got with Ryan King and has worked on snapping. He's been on the roster, off the roster probably four times. Uh, he's played fullback. Uh, and he was a quarterback his whole career, both in high school and college. So, I mean, he's uh, he's the he epit epitomizes exactly what you'd say in a team player. It, it seems to me that he stuck out for you from day one of that mini camp. I mean, yeah, I, there's no doubt. I mean, and again, uh, you know, we've had to have his spot a couple of times and, and bring in guys and ask him just to kind of, you know. Uh, be off the roster, and then if we get an opportunity, we'll bring you back. And uh, things just always seem to <laughs> work out for him, you know. So the the number seems to come back where we can add him back to the roster. You told me yesterday you had a couple of sorry, you had a couple of guys advocating for him late in the fourth quarter, uh, saying, you know, let's get him in, let's get him in. Oh well, I mean, and and then Jay Jack came up to me, you know, and so uh, again, he's an awful good guy. He's a high character guy. Um, he's exactly what you'd want in a t in a team player. We were talking about numbers yesterday, Chris, about on the O-line and D-line switching for Jamin Pelly, but how weird was it to see a number 35 taking snaps? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's ever been done. You know, so it's, uh, but he, uh, like I said, he deserved to get in there and, uh, and be able to get the snaps that he got. But, again, you don't ever think of things like that because, again, we're just trying to, to win a football game. That's it. You know, that's the thing that, uh, that we try to do. And, yes, we try to create depth as much as we can when there's opportunities. But, uh, again, our main focus is just winning a game. Second week in a row, you've had to make a couple adjustments on the old line. How how difficult is that for everybody? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we our old line guy, I call him Cadillac. He's done he's done a great job. You know, all year long, we've had guys in and out of the roster, and uh, and it's hard on Mac. You know, Max, he's like having his his set five in there, and and uh, but our our backup guys have done a real nice job of popping in. And I thought last week, uh, you know, sixty four, he did a really nice job of of going in and uh, and doing what he needed to do. And then court at center, moving from guard to center, he made all our calls and put us in the right protections. You got a guy stepping in, Andrew, this week's first first pro game so it's a, it's a big day for him you know? oh yeah it's a big day and uh you know it's a big opportunity and uh he's worked extremely hard he's in great shape he's extremely strong so we look forward to seeing what he brings to our football team one out ottawa's going to make is uh Devontae dedman uh, looks like the special teams uh, that guy well special teams player of the year last year he's obviously a guy who can change a game pretty quickly yeah i mean and they and they already had a really great returner you know, 81s, I mean, he's been dynamic for them, and, uh, and now they've just made their special teams even better. Uh, Bobby Dice does an outstanding job in the special teams area, and uh, they seem to always find that returner, and uh, now they got two of them. Was there ever a chance of him coming here at all? I mean, was there any sort of raffle for him coming back up? or? No, I think they had his rights. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was, it was kind of a deal where nobody had opportunity right. to, but Ottawa. Yeah, uh, offense seemed to have a pretty good day today looking at the scoreboard. Yeah, looking at the scoreboard, they got after the defense pretty good. I mean, 35-22, I mean, uh, that's probably the largest deficit all year. Um, you know, defensively, we didn't we didn't really – it was a lot of bang-bang plays, but still we didn't make enough plays to uh, to win the day. Is that kind of a day that shows you that the progression is, is coming pretty well for that offense? Well, we'll see. You know, we had a, a really good second half, but, you know, it, it – it, doesn't take but a, a little bit of a memory to remember that the first half was about as bad as, as what you can see, you know, in all three phases. And uh, so, uh, you know, hopefully we can mimic some of the things that we did in that second half and stay on the field offensively and, and play good, solid defense, tackle, not take penalties, and then play solid enough special teams to win the game. It's still kind of the Achilles heel, eh? that good 60-minute effort. Yeah, I mean, no, we've not done it yet. Not one time have we played uh, from start to finish. It's always, you know, three quarters, and then we, we have one off or a half here or a half there. We've not played four quarters yet. Chris, McConzo has had a couple starts under his belt now. What have you seen from your top draft? Well, Enoch's a really good tackler, and he's better around the box than what I anticipated because he's not the largest guy in the world. but. He's very comfortable around those big guys, and he uses tremendous leverage. And once he diagnoses where the football is, he's uh, he's a pretty good tackler in space. How do you like that combo with him and Niles next to each other, and then obviously corner on the inside? I mean, oh yeah, that's a I linebacker mean, core you, you probably envisioned earlier yeah. on the season. Well, like you know, I thought that uh, McConzo would be more of the uh, the boundary 
the boundary type half or boundary wheel second down boundary wheel rotating with Konar, but he's worked himself into an every down player, which is uh, even more than what I anticipated. Excellent. All right, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.